And Ellen DeGeneres has given two tell-all interviews opening up about the decision to end her daytime talk show. The star was forced to face the music over allegations her workplace environment was toxic and Eddie, she did not hold back. Yeah, she really opened up, Nat and Matt. Speaking with Oprah Winfrey and Breakfast TV host Savannah Guthrie, Ellen claimed the recent controversy surrounding her show was orchestrated and coordinated. We're starting a relationship. Uh, and and I've, I've committed myself to this relationship. I'll be here every single day. It was on this stage 18 years ago when Ellen launched her talk show, Korea. It's also where she revealed it was ending. This show has been the greatest experience of my life. And I owe it all to you. Over that time, Ellen has become one of the most influential and recognisable people in Hollywood. But it hasn't been without controversy. I really did think about not coming back because it, it did, um, you know, I mean, it was devastating. Over the past year, the talk show queen has been battered with accusations that her workplace was toxic. We have had a lot of conversations over the last few weeks about the show, our workplace and what we want for the future. We have made the necessary changes and today we are starting a new chapter. That new chapter became the final chapter, which she addressed in two interviews overnight, one that aired on Breakfast TV in the US. When something is coming back at me that I know is not true, um, I guess I could take one or two of those shots, but four months in a row took a toll on me. And the other on her own show with Oprah Winfrey. As a creative person, I, I really need to be challenged. And as, as much as I absolutely love this show, um, and I do, I love everyone here, I love everything about it. Uh, there are just, you know, things that I just, it just what's why I've hosted the Oscars. It's why I went back to stand up. There are just different things as a creative person that I feel like I need to do. Since those damning claims came to light, the Ellen DeGeneres show's ratings slipped by one million viewers, but she can't understand why the public seemed to turn on her. Did you feel like you were being cancelled? I mean, I really didn't understand it. I still don't understand it. It was too orchestrated. It was too coordinated. And, you know, people get picked on, but for four months straight, it was really interesting because I'm a woman, and it did feel very misogynistic. Although her star may have dimmed in recent months, not too long ago, Ellen's was the brightest in Hollywood. She's won over 60 TV awards, hosted the Oscars, Emmys and Grammys, and was awarded the highest civilian honour, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Many, many talented and famous people have tried to do this job and not succeeded. Why did it work for you? You're right. I am more talented than the rest. Um. <laughs> Ellen is no stranger to making headlines. Back in 1997, her sitcom was cancelled after she came out. I'm gay. Was there a moment during this that you thought, it's happening again? <laughs> yeah. My therapist was like, you know, very few people go through such huge public humiliation twice in a lifetime. Ellen still claims she knew nothing of the toxic culture that is said to have plagued her office. I mean, I had no idea, never saw anything that would even point to that. The Ellen Show will wrap up after 19 seasons next year. I miss my audience because I haven't had a, a, an audience all year long. And, I, you know, I'm lucky I get to see smiling faces looking at me from, you know, all over the world. And, hi, they're all waving. And I, I love that. I get to see that. But it's not the same energy as, as having that exchange when they're here. So I am praying that next season I have an audience all season long that can celebrate with me and say goodbye. The two interesting takeaways there is that she is going to be on air for another year and mm -hmm. hopefully, you know, we'll return the show to having those live audiences full of that energy and also that she still doesn't seem to kind of acknowledge or realise mm -hmm. the depth of the issues in her own office. Perhaps she was shielded from them a little bit or it's shielded total denial, from the fallout. Yeah. yeah, two interesting interviews there with obviously, you know, two people who are quite good mates with her. Savannah Guthrie put those questions to her. Oprah Winfrey, more her neighbour and her friend, uh, perhaps didn't go down that road, but more to come on this for sure. Mm. OK, thanks, Eddie. Well, from sugar-free soda act to active wear with a twist, everyday Aussies are taking simple ideas and making millions. So could you be sitting on the next big thing? Sunrise consumer correspondent Sean White has more. Sean. Yeah, hope so. Good morning, guys. Simple ideas with a good business plan uh, and family support seem to be the foundation for success.